Are you wondering how to factory reset your Chromebook to finally sell it on eBay and make a couple dollars? Don't go nowhere. Today I'm going to show you how to do that. Hello everyone, this is Mario from Redbird Technology Solutions or Redbird MKE for short. Today, I have a very interesting thing. My mom has a Chromebook, I don't know why, I told her not to get it, but she has a Chromebook laying around and she wanted me to list it on eBay to sell it, make a couple dollars out of it, and we have to factor a reset. And this is a pretty easy step. If you already know, skip the video, this is not for you. But for those of you wondering how to get that done, Come follow along and I'm going to show you how to do it, get it ready to sell it on eBay or whatever Facebook marketplace or whatever you like to sell it. All right, let's go in. All right. So first things first, if you had any files that are uh, important to you, this is the time to back up, save anything, any files that you need or you think are important. This is the time before you do anything else. This particular case, we're not gonna save anything. Everything here is pretty old and obsolete. A lot of the files here were actually in the cloud, so my mom is already using those files. She has access to those files regardless, so we don't have to worry about any data. So we're just gonna go ahead. You go to the window icon right here. You can definitely look through it, but the easy way, you're just gonna hit, just gonna search for reset. Uh, it's gonna come up. Right away, reset this PC. You're gonna click that. Let's give it a second. And this is gonna give you a couple options here. Uh, reset this PC. If your PC is, isn't running well, resetting it might help. Uh, resetting it, it might help. So uh, this is definitely an option. Uh, but today we're gonna focus on erase the whole computer. So this is, we're gonna go with option number one. And then here it's gonna give you two options, keep my files, remove apps, settings, but keeps personal files. And then option number two, it's uh, remove everything, remove all personal files, apps, and settings. This might look slightly different regardless of what version of Windows you might have, but it's the same outcome. Like I said, this uh, Chromebook has been sitting, um, I don't know, I think uh, for about two, three years by now. So it's gonna go by option number Two, getting things ready, additional settings, uh, remove apps and files, do not do not clean the drive. Uh, yes, we're gonna clean, clean data, just remove your files, very careful. That's it. Uh, so clean data, clean drive. This might take hours, but it will make it harder to recover files. So this is what we're gonna do because we're gonna wipe it completely to resell it, right? So we're gonna go with that option. Gonna hit next. Now it's telling me that it cannot reset the computer because it's not connected to a power source. So let's do that. All right. All right, so now we have uh, the power connector. Let's plug that baby in. Now we have power. Getting things ready and now we wait. Here we go, now we have the option, ready to reset this PC. Um, resetting will remove all personal files, accounts. So 
it's telling you here is it's giving you a breakdown of everything that it's going to be deleting and hit reset. So remember that depending on how many files you might have on your computer, this could take longer. This computer, uh, I think this, the internal storage is about 32, 36 gigabytes. So it's not a lot. And like I said, most of everything was actually in the cloud. So it shouldn't take that long. However, it's an old system. So I'm pretty sure it's processing pretty, pretty low compared to newer uh, systems out there. So now it's restarting. This could take a little bit or not. Let's see. And there we go. So now we're going to start with uh, the initial setup. United States, just give it a couple of minutes. Then again, this could take uh, more or less time depending on what type of machine you got. This one, the whole process took about an hour and a half or so. To be honest, I wasn't expecting to be that long, but that's, that's how long it took. Again, this is an old machine. I'm gonna use the US keyboard. We're going to skip this part. I'm not going to connect to the Wi Fi right now. We're going to continue with limited setup. Again, we this is the uh, Windows 10 license agreement. Again, we're doing something very basic. We're just going to get it ready for uh, for resale purposes. So let's put a key. Let's put a name user. And then the password, let's put something very, you very simple. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Apparently there's no way around this. Your pet's name, let's put four zeros just for four zeros. Gonna accept all this. Again, if there's something that you wanna uncheck, you can do so, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just gonna keep everything going straight up. Gonna uncheck this. 
Again, I'm gonna keep it very simple. And here we go. You are in control. So this is it. And I'm just gonna close this. And here we go. It's there's no internet, so it won't connect anywhere. So this computer Chromebook, it's ready to go. Ready to be um, resale. Um, get a couple dollars out of it. So this is it. Before you do anything with any old tech, even if you're just gonna donate, uh, make sure you factor reset everything. We don't want anyone to be able to go in and get any of your old files and stuff like that. So that's exactly what we did here. So there you go, guys. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let us know any questions you might have in the comments below. If there's any particular tech that you might have laying around that you don't know how to factory reset, let us know. We might be able to help you. See you in the next video.